Johnny Five is alive. Top five springtime baits coming at you live and direct in full effect in this video. Let's get it. Hello and welcome. Thank you for clicking on the video. I'm currently in lockdown at my house and in an effort to keep the content rolling, I have gone out into the boat and grabbed a whole bunch of stuff. And we're gonna do a little top five springtime bait breakdown for you today in this video. So let me just get this out of the way right here at the beginning. I have made the decision uh, to, for the foreseeable future, not to go fishing. I'm gonna do my part, stay here at the house and uh, do what I can to keep people as healthy as I possibly can. And I'm only gonna leave the house if I absolutely have to for the foreseeable future. And unfortunately, that means uh, sacrificing time out there on the water. It's not so much being out on the water that bothers me, it's the interactions that I potentially could have on the way to the boat ramp uh, or around the park or out in public in general. I'm just doing everything that I can to keep myself and my family healthy. Thank you for understanding. I appreciate you sticking with me during these difficult times. But in this video, I'm going to make the shift back to focusing on what everyone is here for, and that is fishing, fishing content, talking about fishing and fishing tackle. So that's what we're gonna try to do. I recently released two videos talking a whole lot more about everything that's going on in the world. And in those videos, I talk a little bit more and open up to you guys about my personal experiences and uh, everything that's been going on with me regarding uh, this coronavirus outbreak and the current pandemic that we are all dealing with. I hope this video finds everyone healthy and safe and my heart goes out to everyone currently dealing with this horrible virus. But like I said, we're gonna get back to focusing on fishing. That is what this video is about. If you wanna know more about how I feel about everything going on in the world, go back and watch my last two videos. That being said, we're gonna rock and roll. We're gonna keep going. We're going to realign our vision back towards fishing. And while I won't be taking the boat out, Right now, I will be uh, doing what I can to keep bringing you guys valuable fishing videos from right here at the desk and out in the garage. So that's the name of the game today. We're gonna talk about my five, top five springtime heaters. I've been talking a lot recently about springtime heaters and the baits that I would use, but I haven't really done like my absolute five. If I could only have five, you know, what would the top five be if I had to say? So that's what we're gonna do today. The title of the video is something like the top five baits for spring or whatever, but Really, it's gonna be my top five bait categories. A couple of these are gonna have more than one bait in there. You'll see what I mean once we get into the list, but I want this to cover as many baits as possible and still keep it within the five bait limit, so that's what I'm gonna to try to do. But let's get right off into this list, man. And I'm gonna go from the top, my number one. My number one, so that you don't miss it, so that anybody who happens to click off the video doesn't miss it, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my numero uno. My number one all-time favorite springtime bait. Some of you probably already know what I'm about to say, but without a doubt, my number one is a weightless fluke, a soft plastic jerk bait. Number one spot is going to the soft plastic jerk bait. This right here just happens to be my favorite. There are many companies that make different styles and variations of this bait. I stuck true to the original, tried several different brands, and the Zoom happens to be my favorite of them all. This right here, my favorite color that they make the Lavender Shad Zoom Salty Super Fluke. But there are other options out there, other color options as well. This is another color that I love right here. It's called Disco Green. You can see uh, there's a video of me and my dad out there just absolutely hammering them on the Disco Green Fluke. And that is another really nice color. It's a little more natural. Got that green pop in there, awesome. The Zoom Salty Super Fluke. As you can see, I have this big stack of tackle here beside me. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel if this is your first video. I'm gonna be doing more stuff like this and I'm gonna be showing you guys practically everything that's in these boxes. That's the plan anyway, so stay tuned for more videos like this if you enjoy this one. This right here just happens to be my fluke box. I wanted to show you guys inside. My soft plastic jerk bait box, if you will. They're mostly Zoom Salty Super Flukes, but I believe there are some other, I have some other stuff somewhere. I think I have some caffeine shads. And Anyways, man, you guys get the deal. There's a. There's a look at the inside of the fluke box. Many different colors. That is baby bass. Got some of these with a little shark on the tail. There's one rigged up right there. Let's talk about how I rig this thing up. And we'll talk about how I fish it. And then we'll move on to bait number two. Also, want to give a shout out to this person right here for suggesting this video. If you're watching, thank you for the suggestion. And as promised, we're making it happen right now. Zoom, salty super fluke. Let's talk about how we rig this bad boy. So generally, when I'm fishing this, what I will do is I will rig it up weightless, just like this right here.
on a 4 aught Gamakatsu, just the normal, not the super line, just the regular Gamakatsu light wire hook. And that right there is gonna get you through. I will tie that on weightless, no weight, no bullet weight, no peg, nothing. Just that right there straight onto a 15 pound fluorocarbon. Generally when I'm throwing a weightless fluke, I like to throw braid to a fluorocarbon leader. So I will use 50 pound braid to a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader and I will tie that on right there and it'll cast a country mile and it's absolutely deadly in the springtime when they're chasing bait. This right here, if I could only have one, this is what I would roll with all the time, especially in the spring. Next, number two on my list, the top five springtime heaters, gotta be a creature bait. I've got a couple examples out here for you. The first two I'm gonna show you, the prawn and the stroker craw from Sixth Sense Fishing. These are the two that have been getting it done for me here lately. You guys know the deal. This candy grass stroker craw is absolute money. And when these fish are bedding up, and they're about to spawn, they're not locked onto those beds, spawned up, they do not like it when these creatures start rolling into their beds. They will absolutely smash on a creature bait in the springtime, especially when they're locked in on beds. And that is why I had to include a good creature bait or a craw style bait in this list. This right here, another creature bait, the prawn. Like I said, some of these are gonna contain multiple baits pushed into one category. This right here is the creature bait category. And a prawn is also a deadly option from the six. Check this thing out, man. Seeing people all over the country light them up with this thing right now. The prawn. That's the prawn 4.2 from Sixth Sense Fishing. If you're out there fishing beds in the springtime, these two right here, absolutely deadly. But just to show that I'm not biased, I do have a bunch of other creature baits sitting around. I have this box that I keep right here on the boat. As you can see, it says creature on there. I got some variety in here, just some random stuff. We'll go through and pull a couple out, take a look. Strike King Rage Craw. This is another awesome creature bait. This right here is the Zoom Speed Craw. Shout outs to my friend Cecil. This right here, dude, don't underestimate that little springtime heater. Creature baits in the springtime, because you gotta have those springtime bed heaters. I do encourage you guys to check out these from Sixth Sense Fishing here lately. The prawn has been the money. Next, number three, we could not do a springtime heaters top five video without including the following. This one is gonna encompass several baits as well because how could I pick only one? We're gonna divide it up into the poppers and the choppers and the walkers. That's right, this category is the top water category and springtime would not be springtime without those top water skadooshes. So like I said, we're gonna divide this up into the walkers and the poppers and the choppers, man. And of the poppers, we're gonna take a look at the Splashback 70 from Six Sense Fishing. This is one of my favorite popper style baits right here, man. Check this out, 70 millimeters, awesome. Shad pattern, let's crack into this thing. Super unique design on this guy. Boom, look at that. Kind of like a, like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a triangle thing going on, you know? Pyramid, pyramid. <laughs> You guys see, you guys see the deal? Awesome, awesome looking popper style bait. The Splashback 70 from Six Cents Fishing. And that is the ghost hot herring color, if you were wondering. Perfect natural looking shad color. In addition to the Splashback 70 from Six Cents Fishing, I also keep the OG Rebel Pop R on hand at all times. I have several of these. Most of them are in that same traditional baby bass style color. Has some other variations in here as well. Next up, we're gonna take a look at the walkers. So in my most recent video, you saw me out there fishing with the Dogma 100 from Sixth Sense Fishing. They also have a 110 and a 130 millimeter version. You guys know I love my larger profile topwater baits, especially in the springtime. So as opposed to the smaller popper style, we have the larger walking style, which is what I've been throwing lately. I also have some more traditional style walking baits in here. This is a rattling spook. I also have this bone color. Another one of those right there. This little guy right here I actually found on the bank. I also have this right here. This is a uh, Strike King, I believe. Anyways, man, there's a look at the walking baits that I have. Walking style baits, awesome topwater springtime category. But you guys already know that I couldn't mention the poppers without talking about the choppers and the ploppers. Whopper plopper, gets a lot of hate, but this thing 
absolutely dominates. And I have a box full of these things and I throw them from springtime all the way into the cold months. There we go. Seems like a decent fish. Come out of there. He's fighting. He's in the tree. Come on, buddy. Nice. He might be foul hooked. He's fighting. Come up here. Seems like a decent fish, maybe. I don't know. It's two fish. I've got two fish at the same time. I've never done this before in my life. Look at this, guys. Two fish on the same plopper. Oh, man, I've never had this happen. Dude, this is the first time I've ever doubled up. Look at that. Freaking double ups, dude. You guys know the deal. You've seen it here on my channel. I throw these things all the time. I have a box full. This is the 110 millimeter. If I had to pick one and I was only going to throw one, probably the 130. This right here, I've actually caught monstrous monstrous bass on this 130 right here trout pattern one super bright white a little more natural all those are 130s this right here is that ghost shad 110 the monkey butt 110 and i also have and i also have some of the 90 millimeter versions right here this is the 90 Another 90. Got this one hooked in my shorts. There's another 90. Go Shad. And yeah, Whopper Plopper, the River to Sea Whopper Plopper, that's the plopper style prop bait that I generally run. If I'm gonna be throwing one, I'm gonna throw the OG original Whopper Plopper, and it's probably gonna be a 110 or a 130, unless they just absolutely won't hit those, and then every once in a while, if they're going crazy, I will pick up the smaller 90 millimeter there. They also make a 75 millimeter version which I do not fish, and they also make a 190 millimeter version for all you pike and musky guys out there who need the really big baits. So, so that is my number three springtime heater. The top water category had to include all those baits because yeah, it's impossible to pick just one. You got the poppers and the choppers, and you got the walkers, man. Take your pick. That is my number three springtime bait. So now we're gonna roll into number four. Number four, surprise, surprise, my number four springtime heater is, did you guess it? Did you guess it? A swim jig, but not just a swim jig. More particularly, a smaller profile swim jig. Like this right here, something small. A little quarter ounce sunfish or bait fish imitation. If you guys have been watching my channel, you already know I love throwing a swim jig. I go on and on about swim jigs all the time. These right here are the Divine swim jigs from Sixth Sense Fishing. These are quarter ounce. I got them rigged up with the Divine swim bait there as trailers. Throwing these up shallow in the springtime when those bait fish and sunfish are starting to move up shallow into the inches of water into that cover it's really one of the best ways to throw into thick stuff and get around cover a bunch of water and i generally have a swim jig tied on all year long i'll usually throw a shad style pattern like this start out and see if they're uh, chasing schools of shad and if not i'll adjust and go to the more creature style stuff this right here is a skirtless jig head that i had laying around divine jig head and a stroker craw there on the back you can get creative but my point being that a small profile swim jig in the springtime is absolutely deadly. You guys already knew it was gonna make the list. Here's a small box of swim jigs that I've rigged up for recent trips. This right here, probably, uh, oh, that's gonna be, that's the money if I had to pick one. Mm. Shad, just, uh, mm, just mimic a little, little bait fish or a little tiny school of bait fish. Go up shallow in the springtime, quarter ounce. Rolling a swim jig through the cover in the shallows is one of my absolute favorite ways to fish and I had to include it in my springtime heaters video swim jig man quarter ounce go light on the weight go shallow follow those bait fish and you can't go wrong man rounding out the list now number five you guys may know this one already how could we possibly round out a springtime heaters list video without including those square bill smokers that's right guys square bill crankbait either shad or crawfish profile one of my absolute favorite ways to smash them in the springtime these are just a couple that i picked to go over for this category right here the crush flat 75x the crush 50x the crush 50s the silent version and then the curve finesse square bill a flat sided square bill such as the crush flat 75x from six cents fishing is an excellent springtime option, as well as the Curve 55 Finesse Small Profile Square Bill Crankbait. Perfect, epic. This bait right here 
is awesome for banging around in the shallows. There we go, come on, come on baby. Yes, come on, come on. Nice fish, nice fish. Fighting, yeah, come on. Nice fish, does not want to come up. Fourth fish of the day is a good one. He's hooked, he's coming up. Whether he wants to or not, he's coming up. Dude, that fish, dude, he annihilated it. <laughs> you think you wanted that six cents crankbait, baby? Woo! If you want to catch him cranking in the springtime, this is the way to do it. This color right here, super unique, brown eye special. For whatever reason, they seem to just go nuts over this color. And uh, the bites that I've got on this have been ferocious. That is the brown eye special flat 75X from Six Sense Fishing. Also, another, another deadly color that you can't go wrong with is the shad scales. It's a nice fish. It's a nice fish, dudes. Oh my God, grinder in. <laughs> She's in the net. She's fat all day, she's fat. And then of course you guys know, trusty Chester Cheeto is one of my absolute favorites, the Dominator. Always have this guy on the boat. There we go, nice. It's a nice fish. Smoked it, dude. Hell yeah, dudes. That's a chunk right there. That's probably three. Three easy. Nice one, Chester Cheeto. And as always, if you guys are interested in any of the incredible Six Sense fishing products that you see in my videos, you can shop sixcentsfishing.com and use my code JR10 to save 10% off your entire order. So go shop around, save yourself some money on the best hard baits in the game, and support those real deal homegrown Texas fishermen while you're at it. But I think that's gonna wrap up the list, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the top five springtime heaters video. But that's it, man, one through five, done. But for you guys that made it this far into the video, and for those of you who haven't clicked off yet, I do have a couple honorable mentions that I wanna run by you, just as a little bonus content, a couple bonus baits, because why not, man? Yes, it's a top five video, but I wanted to go ahead and include these next two baits because I know some of you guys out there will be like, hey, why didn't you mention this? Or why didn't you mention that? And chances are I thought about it, but I had to narrow it down to five. But with that being said, I wanna go ahead and talk about these next two style of baits right now for the springtime. Now everybody knows that you have the opportunity to catch the fish of a lifetime in the spring when they're coming up for the spawn. And we've been talking about some smaller profile baits in today's video, but I want to mention that it could be the time to catch a potential PB on something like this. This is the S Waver 168. It's a glide bait. As you can see, it's got this beautiful trout pattern on it. Glide bait, throw this on uh, like 15 or 20 pound fluorocarbon and just slowly swim it back to the boat and hope you get a Megalodon come up and smoke it. Also, this bad boy right here, the Flow Glider 130 from Sixth Sense. Haven't had a chance to fish with it yet, but this right here, man, in the springtime could entice that monster to come up and eat and uh, I can't wait to get out there and try. The last bait I wanna talk about in this video is a bait that I've gotten away from fishing recently as I learned other bass fishing techniques, but it's a technique that I used to use quite often as a kid. In fact, it's probably the technique that I used most often when I would go out bass fishing when I was younger, and that is a spinner bait. I have a few of these right here that I just wanted to bring into the equation and mention because a spinner bait can be a deadly option in the springtime, particularly a smaller profile spinner bait like this, something you can get up shallow, something to mimic a small little school of bait fish. This is a War Eagle finesse spinner bait with a little Kitek 2.8 trailer on the back. And uh, yeah, I lit them up out there when they were schooling up with this thing. So but that's, yeah, that's just one more bait that I wanted to mention in this video. Don't neglect the spinner baits. I'm sure a couple of you out there watching the video were thinking, hey man, spinner bait deadly in the springtime. And you're right, it is. I just don't fish them that often. Man, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate you sticking with me and riding with me. It feels good to be back filming and editing videos for you guys. I hope you are enjoying the content. Even though we are stuck at the house, we're gonna keep grinding it out and we're gonna keep talking, fishing, filming, and failing upward on YouTube as much as we possibly can from right here at the home base until everything is cool again out there in the world and we can get back out on the water. Once again, thank you guys so much for your support. I appreciate you riding with me. If you enjoyed yourself, please consider subscribing to the channel. Help us hit 10,000. We're well on our way. We just passed 9,000. Thank you guys so much for that. Go back and watch my most recent videos if you haven't already. 
And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today, man. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.